Hey guys, what's going on? It's Frank with Big Man Tech, back at you with another video. Uh, today we're going to do a little news review. So recently we just had AMD launch all of their video cards uh, that have been people have been anticipating for a little while. So they have three of them that just came out. The 6900 XT, which is a $999 card. It's supposed to compete with the uh, NVIDIA RTX 3090, which is a $1,499 card. Uh, there is the 6800 XT, which is 600, I'm sorry, looking at my notes, a uh, $649 card. That one competes with the RTX 3080, which is a $699 card from NVIDIA. Uh, AMD's 6800 card is $579, which is supposedly competing with the uh, RTX 3070, which is a $499 card. Uh, and NVIDIA also recently released a, an RTX 3060 card, which is $399. So as far as the cards go, the 6800 is pretty much keeping up with or beating the 3890 in some <clears throat> certain aspects. So, you know, that's a, if you can get your hands on one, because again, just like with the NVIDIA launches, the AMD launches went uh, a little haywire and cards are nearly impossible to get your hands on. But the 6800, or sorry, the 6900 XT is a really, comes out to be a really good card. It's actually, a, seems like a better value right now than the uh, RTX 3090, at least from what I've been seeing. Uh, I haven't got a chance to get my hands on either, so I, couldn't personally do any testing, but from the test, testing I'm seeing, that's what it looks like. And then there's the 6800 card, which is supposed to go after the 3080, which actually comes out a little bit better, but it's also, uh, let's see, it was 649? Yeah, 649 versus the 699. So it's 50 bucks cheaper, but it actually, it they go neck and neck. Some games they do, uh, the AMD card does better. Some games the uh, RTX does better. Um, but again, it's a $50 price difference. So, you know, take that for what you will. Um, and then there's the 6800, which is the current AMD of the new generation 6000 series cards. That is the, the lower of the three. Uh, that card is, uh, what, $579, uh, will compete with the, uh, 3070, which is 499. So, you know, it's a, $80 more expensive card. Uh, but however, the 3070 actually does a little bit better uh, in a lot of cases. Um, it's overclocked a little faster. Uh, yeah, out of the box, it even does pretty well as, also. Um, and oh, and these prices are the street price from the vendor version of the card. Now, the aftermarket manufacturers are going to charge a little, they each have a version of the card that costs the same price, but they have some higher tuned cards that are going to be a little bit more. Um, and then, of course, like I said, the uh, and excuse me, Nvidia also released the 3060, which is obviously well 36. They call it the 3060 Ti, which uh, again is a $399 card, but it competes with the last year's 3080 Super, which was. A really good card. Um, even right now, if you were to go look for one on the market, you're probably looking at uh, a neighborhood of, uh, I believe it's last I looked, it was about 700, 700, maybe $800 for that card. Um, and this card can out, will outdo it for $399. But again, if you can get your hands on one, because they were in stock and were instantly out of stock. So we're still dealing with that craziness. Uh, also, after almost two years of uh, delays and uh, being talked about and looked for forever. Cyberpunk 2077 finally came out. <laughs> so we'll see how that does. Uh, a lot of people were looking forward to this game and um, have been waiting for quite some time for it to come out. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how that, how that game does and how people uh, accept it. Hopefully they do well. Hopefully people like it. I mean, again, after as long as they were doing pre-releases and uh, the the commercial with Keanu Reeves and there was somebody else that had another commercial. But yeah, so it looks like it'll be interesting. Maybe I'll check it out. Um, personally don't have time since uh, <clears throat> Shadowlands for World of Warcraft finally released. So I've been spending a lot of time trying to, well, I've got my character maxed out. Well, one of my characters, um, 
the max level, and now I just gotta go grind out and get some more gear. <laughs> As the raids have started, and I don't have the gear to get in just yet. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, uh, also, of course, Call of Duty has been out for a little bit. Uh, they've started, I think, the new tier for season 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 pass one for Call of Duty uh, comes out. I believe it is the sixteenth. So you know that's on the way. Um, so you know all the Call of Duty fans out there, get in there, have some fun. Uh, they've got some uh, some incentives to try and get you to uh, what is it? Prestige mode level 50, you get some new skins for a shotgun and some other things. Uh, if you get there before the uh, new one got out, I just hit I hit level 50 on mine. So I got that skin for the shotgun and a uh, new operator skin. I can't think of the name right now, but it's neither here nor there. Anyway, well, I uh, guess that's about it for now. Thanks and have a good one.